this is our new one versus old one you can see the difference in the damage working on this carrier today and this EXV was giving me trouble and it, it didn't look like it was adjusting properly so sure enough I pull it out and all that comes out is this it's supposed to have this attached to it I look down in there and that's just sitting there in the bottom still and uh, yeah normally what you would do is if you were questioning whether or not this was any good you would have to uh, recover the whole system down but you could pull this out and inspect it and then actuate it so whenever I was testing it I could still hear the motor actuating in and out but uh, it wasn't uh, it wasn't actually changing anything and my uh, my evaporator kept pumping down on me so I was uh, in the process of trying to figure that out and at first I thought I had oil in my in my barrel uh, then I got to looking at this and uh, yeah we definitely found the problem so I've got a new uh, actuator head uh, one of the things I'm looking for is I'm gonna check for any damage I want to make sure I clean this up as much as possible inside and then I'm just going instead of sweating this whole body out I'm going to just replace this head the body so far I don't see any obvious damage uh, so if there was any scoring any anything in the inside there at all that would give me concern this could try to stick internally right but I don't see that so far I'm going to finish inspecting it as long as I don't find that uh, I'll just pull the uh, the head off of the new valve and just install it in this one to be good to go. So uh, yeah, well, uh, it's pretty pretty interesting. Um, I've seen these fail. This is the first one I've seen actually come apart. Right. So that was uh, I was not expecting that. But as soon as I pulled it out, I saw that the, the rest of the, the head didn't come with it. I said, well, that's got to be my problem right there. One of the things I've verified here is this is the part number. It's also stamped on the front of the valve. And I've confirmed that the valve body part number is identical. So that's exactly what I want to see. I want to make sure that uh, uh, that these valves are an identical match so that when I switch the heads out, they're good to go. I'm also uh, going to switch out this... Uh, the sight glass here to get a fresh one in there with a, with a new indicator as well uh, I think that'll be good for it too the critical things to know if you're gonna do a rebuild on one of these EXVs like this <clears throat> you would definitely want to replace this o-ring here uh, just take a small screwdriver you can put it up underneath it it'll pop off but you want to remove it evenly and then slide the new one on evenly if you get it at a cockeyed at an angle and it doesn't go on even you can stretch that o-ring and you may have trouble getting it to seal back properly same thing on this uh, sight glass here if you're going to do a rebuild i recommend you replace it again it does also have an o-ring right here i recommend you clean this face of it make sure it's all good clean metal uh, i really like to use nylog on these o-rings it really helps them seat and seal and last a lot longer uh, you can see it's just uh, the, just that brass goes straight to the to the o-ring there's not a whole lot to it uh, these should not be excessively tight especially with that o-ring in there it's not necessary that o-ring sits down in that groove you can see kind of got a, a flared type shape to it uh, what I do on one this large uh, as I get uh, my uh, my pipe wrenches and just get one on the top, one on the bottom, uh, it doesn't take an excessive amount of pressure. It, like I said, they, it should not be that tight. If it is, somebody did not do it correctly or there's something else wrong. Um, so just so you do know, uh, if there is ever a problem with the motor or with this connection here, I know it looks like it will come apart but um, all this is all part of the refrigerant and the system so you are not able to take this loose without recovering things down 
and uh, that's your overall basics not a whole lot to it um, like I said uh, a, a critical thing on a rebuild is you want to make sure that the inside is really clean you don't have any trash you can see the the uh, actual plunger piece sitting down in there um, 